Hello everyone and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. I'm Dialogue and I'm playing more Reseteer. Last time we finished our first week of the game, hit our credit goal with flying colors, I might add, and met a blonde stranger who... I don't know what she's up to. Let's dive in and find out. Let's dive in and find out. Ah, we have a rival now. Oh, what's this? What's this? A cardboard box sneaking around my shop. Can I actually... Oh, it is her. <laughs> oh! <laughs> my genius astounds even me sometimes. The best way to learn about your foe is to direct infiltration, after all. And with strategic espionage ability such as this, I can't fail. Um... Hmm? The interior decoration is as seedy and plebeian as the outside. Which means their selection of items must be astounding. What could it be? What sort of thing could that filthy little pearl sell? Perhaps some kind of black and white animal? The ownership of which violates international treaties? Perhaps the most delicious apples this side of the Mer de Blanc? Perhaps one of those books Father says I'm too young to read? Um... Oh, be quiet, whoever you are. You are interrupting my train of thought. Um, could you come out of the box? Maybe, at least. It kind of looks weird on the floor here. But that means... Um... Well then! In all honesty, I shouldn't be surprised by this. I should have expected a foe as canny as you to break through my otherwise impenetrable stealth techniques. Okay. This confirms it. You are indeed worthy of being my rival. <laughs> huh? Rival? Oh, no. Ah! I have failed to introduce myself, of course. I am the owner of the monolithic item store chain, Big Bash. Well, to be specific, I am the owner's only child and inheritor. Alouette is my name. Remember it? Everyone around me calls me Young Mistress Alouette. But you, oh my rival, shall have the privilege of calling me Lady Alouette. Uh... Big Bash? It's a massive store chain with capital stock value of 15 billion picks and a yearly gross profit of about 500 billion. Oh, tear! I heard the commotion and came to see what was happening, but why are the two of you discussing Big Bash? I'm, uh, I'm not really sure. Interesting. You also have a fairy. Huh? Prime! Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Oh, uh, mistress. I see your attempted infiltration failed. What are you talking about? Their superior detection ability simply caught me off guard and overwhelmed my cardboard. That's all. That's... A fairy? Dang. This one sure is shop. You got a problem with that kid? I mean, you hang out with one too, so what's the big deal? <laughs> Call me Prime. You could say I'm Aller, uh, the mistress's guardian. Uh, well, I'm Rossetti, and this is Tear. It's nice to meet you. Hmm. Yeah. Real pleasure to meet you too, bookworm. <laughs> eh? Are you by chance referring to me? <laughs> like there's anyone else here I'd call that. Well, the pleasure is all mine then. <laughs> Alright, mistress. We've introduced ourselves. So how about we head on home now? 
What are you talking about? I haven't finished introducing half of the fantabulistic, amazing, incredibleness that is Alouette, inheritor of Big Bash. If we stick around for that, we'll be here all week. Come on, we're going home. Rossetti, listen and listen well. Enjoy your happy, carefree days as long as you can. For when I am through with you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys around. So, um... What do you think about was all about? That was not dissimilar to meeting a hurricane in human form. And now I have a rival. Fantastic. Mm. I think it's time to sell some of the better stuff here. Um, let's, let's remove this and this and put them... Uh, no, no, where is it? There it is. Shark fin. And... Ink. There it is. Alright, what else do we got for sale here? Let's get rid of the... Now that we're not stressed about time, let's get rid of this and this. And... And why not the other pair of boots? Okay. Sell or go out? Uh, I'm not hurting for money, so let's go out. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, now. What's wrong? <laughs> My dolly! Ah, <gasps> oh, the shoulder's been ripped. This is my favorite! <sighs> Wait, can you give it to me for a second? Okay. Let's see, I have a little thread and a needle in my apron pocket here. And Lou, Lou, don't poke myself. And done. How does that look? <laughs> you, you fixed it. Yay, thank you so much, lady. You're welcome. I need to go now. Bye-bye. Hmm. Not only are you good at sign crafting, but you have a fairly deft end at needlework, too. How about you, Tyr? I bet you sell a lot of stuff. Uh... Huh? There's no time for dawdling. Where to next? I guess fairies aren't very good at using big needles, huh? How, how big is she supposed to be? You know what? Let's go to the Adventurer's Guild. Then we'll... In the same day, we can sell stuff we find. Do I have any healing items? I have an or I have walnut bread times three. Let's bring two. Yeah, yeah, we haven't needed more than that. Let's bring two. Um, that's fine. All right, floor eleven to fifteen. Here we go. Equipped items in the bag. Yes. There's no time to waste. You jerk. I feel like things are a little too loud. I could be wrong. What the heck? Some kind of eyeball feature? But I only have 3,852 picks. Does it cost me money to go dungeon running? The game didn't say that. The game certainly didn't say that. Did somebody steal money from me? Am I losing money every time I get hit? I gotta pay more attention to that. Also, I'm almost dead. Good thing I brought two of these. A helmet? Surely that's better than an old muffler. Um, he's wearing one. That's why. I might actually... I might actually be defeated here. If I'm not careful. Is that necklace better? You can't wear it. Alright. I want to 
try... I want to try to hold off on healing in case I can level up. Save myself the item for the boss monster. Because it looks like by floor 12, I have been outclassed. Another inkwell, good. Well, I don't know if it's good. I mean, I haven't sold one yet. So even though it's pretty expensive, the fact that I can't get rid of it means it's just worthless. There we go. There we go. Not that it got me a whole lot, but there we go. Are you... Stop it! Stop it! Okay. Hmm. No, no. Alright. Alright. Time to use that other healing item. Didn't want to, and now I'm out. Alright, I think it's time. Oh my. And I leveled up. What a waste. And they didn't drop anything. Of course not. Why would they? It's not like I need more items or anything. I mean, I still have three floors. I'm probably going to run out of room before I hit the boss, but even still. Come on, boys. There we go. Thank you. Ooh, a chair. Can I actually eat that? Makes for a nice single bite snack. I've got to be able to eat that. It's also 900 picks. <laughs> it's 900 picks. I don't think I want to eat it. Alright, so he didn't steal any money from me. Any picks from me. But then why am I not at 4,600 when, like when I started the game? What happened to my money? I cannot believe... SP consumption happened. Oh, thank you. I cannot believe it takes money to come into this dungeon when the game did not say anything about that. I, I need to pay a little more attention. Maybe. Maybe it does cost money and I'm just skipping over that. Oh well. I really shouldn't complain about it until I get a chance to look again. But, I mean, that's like almost a thousand that I've just disappeared. Stop it! time that a bee has dropped something? I don't think so. Can I eat it? That's the question. Kind of healthy sweets, eat it straight, spread it on bread, it's still the... That probably recovers hit points and SP. If we're talking candy restoring SP. this time. Not this time. Bread, okay. Alright. I will take that. Can't carry anymore. What? Alright, so we don't need the clothes. Throw that away. Why did you... Throw away the clothes. If I was going to throw anything away, it would be that next. Alright, things are starting to get really hard now. Or at least the enemies are starting to get harder. And take more damage. I think it's approaching the point where I need the next gear of gear. What the heck? 
What the heck is that? And we'll check this one. Huh. Baked yam. Yeah. Okay, so food. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna chuck two things this time, and then come back for it if I feel like I need it. Ooh, that'll sell for a lot. I need Lou to buy an actual sword from me, so I can stop bringing one. Trap chests are really starting to get on my nerves. And you guys still have refused to drop an item. Alright, that's fine. You give plenty of XP. I'll accept that as an apology. <clears throat> now I missed with the crit. A wooden shield. Fantastic. I'll probably chuck that. The apple. Uh, let's rearrange. Okay, now what can I eat? Walnut bread plus three. If I was going to eat anything, it would be that. I'm pretty sure I can eat these. Mm. We'll get rid of... We'll get rid of an ingredient for the apple. And we'll chuck the walnut bread if it comes to that. Ooh, yeah, we definitely want that egg. That omelet looking thing. That'll sell for a nice bit. I am getting rid of all of the question marks, but since I don't know what they are. I don't want to risk... I mean, they'll probably sell... You know what? They probably sell for more the, than the stupid puffballs. 110? Yeah, throw that out. Let's pick up one of the items. I know, I know, I'm waffling. I still want to pick one of these up and see what it is. The, the stupid little puffballs are just so... Not worth it, though. They only sell for 110. I, that's not something I want to keep around. Um, so this is the lowest floor of the dungeon tier? Not precisely. While we cannot further proceed, uh, well, while we cannot currently proceed any further, I strongly suspect that we can go even deeper in next time. Wait, why is that? The dungeons change shape every time someone enters them. Some theorize that they adapt to the strength of those who enter, and refer to it as the living dungeon phenomenon. The truth of the matter is unclear, however. Uh, okay. I wonder if the dungeon gets bored if it's alone. So that would work on people who are foolish enough to enter a place. Like this, the playthings of the underworld. Oh, it's a woman. Uh, I see. I like the way you think, girl. <laughs> Who's there? Oh. Unique Sprite? Is this a party member? Evening. Name's Charm, the Lady Thief. Should I give her a... <laughs> so, your treasures, valuables, and assorted shiny bits. I'll be taking them, if you please. I'm not happy with that voice. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We won't let you! Always the way. Well, then. In that case, it looks like it's time to cut some fools. Sate. I've got to fight. Oh, yeah. She's definitely a future party member. Um, vacuum blade. Hey! Eat some of this. I've got plenty of this to burn, too. 
Um, I actually need to use some. <laughs> I used the walnut bread, and... We'll see what the honey does. Complete... I... 20 SP. Okay, alright. You know what? I can't complain. I did use it. I just run the risk. But it didn't heal any health. So I was wrong about that. She's, um... She's quick. I'll give her that. Come on. Whoa, okay. And I need to heal. Because if she hits me again... Cherry? 34 HP? Oh, that was a waste. What a waste. Oh, man. Oh, well. This... All that, all those food items that were gonna make me a lot of money, wasted. I feel like such a fool. You, you owe me. There. Freaking, fragging ow! I'm losing my touch. Getting beat like that. Uh, miss, are you, are you okay? I'm I'm all over the place with charm. I need to just pick a voice and go with it. Ah, oh, I'm mortally wounded. I can I can see the far shore. Oh no, I am. I'm kidding, girl. Really? If you get this word about every Burke who tries to slit your throat and take your lucre. Ow. Hey, you really are hurt. Here, take this wound ointment. <laughs> what the? Did you have that on you this entire time? <laughs> uh, sorry, dear. You tore a pair of oddballs. You know that? Believe me, she is the only round, strange object currently present. Please do not assume that both of us are nearly so foolish. Really? Seems to me like you two make a good pair. Ugh. Well then, young ladies, I should scamper, since I've been beaten like a mule. Enjoy your treasure! You earned it! Wait, wait! I'm Rossetti, and this is Tyr. We have an item shop at the town. Ah. We have an item shop at the top of the hill in town called Rossetti. You should stop by. I should, huh? I'll keep that in mind. See you later, kiddos! Goodbye! Giving her our shop location. What are you thinking, Rossetti? Is Louie just chop liver there? The lady thief, huh? <laughs> she was kinda cool. You will forgive me if I don't think the same way. Hey, are you jealous? Absolutely not. Ooh, good. A treasure chest for once. What is this? Very odd vase. Flower vase with abstract designs on the surface. Well, I'm leaving. I... Those healing items really just... It irks me that I had to use those. She said it would take two time units to go to the Adventurer's Guild and a dungeon. But it looks to me like the whole day passed. Okay, alright. We can... Alright. She was telling the truth. Okay. Well, let's go sell some stuff. Welcome to Reset here! I read that wrong, forgive me. Oh dear. We need a bracelet at home, you see. A bracelet? You mean, like, this? Will this do? This is just what I meant. Well, how about I give it to you for 120%. Fantastic. Hey, Louie! I've been looking for this! Oh my god. You're the only one who's buying clothes now. 
No way! I'm sticking to my guns on this. Fine, you know what? Take it. I need a profit. You're the only person buying them. Clearance sale. That's what it was. A clearance sale. Just for you, Louie. The wife asked me to pick this up. Oh, well. Your wife is a very smart woman, sir. I can see how she's a very lucky wife. Fantastic. 30% markup. He went for it. This is for sale, right? And he wants a raincoat. Always good to wear a raincoat. I mean, it's not like it's raining outside. I don't know why you'd need... Oh, yes! Please buy it. I can make it cheaper. I don't want to. Sir, do not insult my intelligence. Get out of my store. Is that... Not quite... I'm like, a hair off! A hair off! Ah. I'm gonna have to go out and buy some more bracelets if people are gonna ask for that. Uh, news. The price of candy has increased. Oh, so I can sell it for more now. Hey, hey, Tear, what was that just now? Oh, uh, that? That was a newsflash. Important events are reported on for everyone in the city. That one was sudden jump in candy prices. So if you are buying or selling candy, pay close attention to that. Sudden jump? In other words, sudden scarcity has driven the price of candy up. In general, that means that prices will roughly double. So a candy that sold for 300 picks may now well sell for 600. Wait a minute! So candy is gonna cost a ton of money for the rest of time? That's terrible! How am I gonna survive? Wait, wait, I'll buy all the candy in the city and keep it for myself! Well, maybe I'll share or sell a little, but it is candy. Ahem! No! Prices will stabilize after some time passes. Precisely how long, however, nobody can say for sure. For once, however, you have hit upon a good point. Well, it can be hard to predict price fluctuations. If you keep a fairly wide variety of stock handy, it is possible to take advantage of a sudden situation like this and to make money hand over fist. You can also try to take advantage of the situation after news comes in, but it is harder to really make a profit that way. Aww. This is complicated. Now I'm hungry. Well, it is quite a bit to take in at once. So let's see it in action, shall we? No, not another tutorial. Ah, oh, the news again. Watch carefully. This information could be vital. Right. Louis the Swordsman bounce check at local cafe. Now on the lam. Oh, Louis. And sometimes the news is like that. <laughs> well, for some people, it's sure vital. Run, Louie, run! <laughs> Do I have any candy? I think I... I don't think I have any candy. I think the best I can do is... Uh... Nope, I do! Fantastic. Gonna make a profit. Gonna make it fine. Uh, I'll sell the scrap plate. Louie probably won't be in to buy the sword anytime soon, so... Let's sell the wooden helmet. No. Let's sell the wooden shield here. The tree seed necklace there, and... The wooden helmet there. Alright. Let's also save. Just in case. Here we go. Oh, Louie! Weren't you on the run? Hey, can you sell me a piece of armor? A piece of armor? Yes, I can. I don't want you to have any of this, though. I'll give you the helmet. This is it, right? Yeah, that'll do. How much? Um, I know you can't really afford it. Uh, fine. Fine, Louie. 
That's as low as I'm willing to go. Hey, I just saw a heart. Is that the first time that happened? Can you guys tell me if that's the first time that happened? That must mean what? What does that mean? Doesn't matter, I'm merchant level four. Doesn't matter what the heart meant. Hello, welcome to Recipeer, Guildmaster. Oh ho, the candy! Absolutely! It, the price went up from 300 to 600, right? So I can actually... I can actually charge a lot more if I want to. I'm gonna try for 33... 233%. Right then, yes! Oh. oh, the problem is predicting price fluctuations like that. I'm not gonna go out and buy a whole bunch of junk, hold on to it in the hopes that it goes up. Um, you know what? I'm gonna sell the long sword. Louis will come in and I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him for a steal and the tree seed necklace. Should I go out? Uh, I might run into charm. What can I do at level 4? Merchant level 4. Uh, tier. Merchant level. What can I do at merchant level 4? More items. At the guild and the market. Oh yeah, oh definitely. Yeah, let's go out and see what I can get from the guild and the market. Oh, what to do? What to do? Hey, is something wrong, sir? You seem kind of down. Uh, good day, girls. No need to worry about me, really. I've just got my grandchild's birthday coming up. I'm a little stuck on what to get her, I'm afraid. Choosing a proper gift for a child is always a challenge. Yeah, I wonder what would work best. Is it a boy or a girl, sir? That is an important factor. Oh, it's a girl. Bit younger than little Rossetti here, I suppose. In that case, there's no question. Gotta go with a doll. Really? A girl who's beginning to mature may not desire dolls any longer. I believe an encyclopedia, or something similar, may. An encyclopedia? That'd be unfeeling and boring. Oh, come on. If he has a mind about our future, a doll is not... But if you don't have dolls to play with, you can't grow up to be a nice person. Really? We might not have an encyclopedia handy at the moment, but when we return to the store, I am going to teach you their value. Hey, I can do that too. For once. I saw a book the other day called Dolls and the Formation of Personality. And it said... Um... Girls? Great. I bet there's nobody in the chapel, right? Unless it's flashing. Yeah. Alright, well, let's check the market. Uh, let's check the Merchant's Guild. Uh, Merchant's Guild. Anything there? Still nothing. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, Louie. Hmm, you know what? Let's plan for Charm being the next uh, adventurer we get and get her a really nice weapon. Hmm. I am. I think I'm gonna sink most of my money on this. Ouch, that, that hurt far more than I wanted it to. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna worry about any of these for now. This is good though. And... Tough clothes, windbreaker. Let's take some windbreaker. I'm sure I can make a profit off of a few of those. Hmm. Leather, iron... Iron armor? Um... I'll take one. I'll take one. That lady came in asking for a bracelet, so let's buy a couple of these. Just so we have them on stock in case somebody comes in asking for it. Common shield. Uh, no. Cloth hat. I don't think I have any hats, so 
I'll take one in case somebody comes in looking for it. Hmm. And then these. I'll leave that alone. I still need to go to the market. Let's see. Shell shield. Uh, shell necklace. No. I've got one. I got one tree seed necklace, but another one would. Hmm. I don't know. Cloth cape is much too expensive. Muffler. Look at the jump in price! Dear God! Summer sandals. Those actually sell pretty well. Out of stock on the ring. What? Wow! It's a lot of money! These books don't really sell that well. I think... I don't know. I wouldn't mind buying a book, but they really don't sell well. People don't seem interested in them. Purchase price. Well, for the time being, I was able to sell it for... Man, I was, el I was able to sell it for a lot of money. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take two. And... is that it? Ooh, wait, what? Shop, uh, the flooring is easy to clean and very popular with city dwellers. I'll take this one. Yep, I spent all my money... I spent the rest of my money customizing... Ah, uh, let's see. How do I apply it now? Tear. Tear. Uh, let's get rid of... Worn Sword. Put down... The Windbreaker. You know what? I want the clothes on the... on this side. There. Windbreaker there, shield there. There we go. Okay. How do I customize... Hmm. How do I customize the store? Come on! I bought those items. Do I just use them? No. Well, what do I do? Tear. Tear, what do I do? Is there... Change wallpaper. Change floor. Cha oh, no. I wasted all that money. Ah, oh, I wasted all that money. Oh well. Thank you everyone for joining me. I think this is a good spot to stop. I'll catch you all next time on Games with Dialogue. Until then, stay safe and God bless. <laughs>